Hey guys, what's up? First episode of our Ski Region Simulator gameplay and overview series. We'll have about, uh, probably about ten or so episodes in this series. And I'll be taking you through it all the way. So, another th one little thing about uh, Ski Region Simulator 2012 is when you first started, at least in my case on this computer, it is a little laggy, but that will get better as I play it. It's already starting to get a little better at this point. Um, okay, so it's it's a very good game. Very good. And it never really gets old or boring. It's, um, because there's always something that needs to be done. So I find it quite immersive, and I just think it's a great investment of your money or my money or whatever. But, um, and... There's some great downloadable content for this game available at ski region simulator.com. Um, the game is made by Giants. Um, and uh, yeah, it's a good game. All of the vehicles in the game, at least all the official like vehicles made by Giant Software are very well made. All the lights and signals work. Uh, as you can see here, lights work signals work um, to turn on the lights you just gotta press the F key on your keyboard and for the signal or flashing lights just home key um, you can cycle through your vehicles using either the tab button or using just getting out and walking to the other one to attach equipment you're gonna press Q um, and, uh, yeah. Uh, now I'll just go over some of the vehicles with you. This is the payloader, or whatever you want to call it. It's a very handy thing to buy in, it's in the game. Um, it's what you'll be, or you would use to fill your salt spreader. You don't need it. You can use a skid steer as well, but I recommend this if you have the money. Um... So yeah, this one has nice three views. All the signals and lights work. You can use your mouse to move the bucket. Or you can just use the keys. J up and down. K is tilt your bucket down. And M is lift it up. And it really works. It, you can use it for anything. Look at him. Pick up the snow. Um, yeah. Okay, this is the... Deutz tractor, and it's, I would not recommend getting this. It's a very crappy tractor. Can't really use it for anything. Like, the snowblower, I, I would not, yeah, don't get this. Um, the skid steer, great if you don't have the money to get the payloader, but if you can, certainly don't get this. I would strongly advise you not to get this. Uh, this is a, a mod for the game. It's just the normal sled with a uh, working light and also a siren, but you probably can't hear that. The siren isn't on all the time. You can turn that on by holding the zero key also here we have oh jeez I don't even know what this is um, this is the store you can actually walk to the store or you can just press the P key um, this is the lizard snow eater I this one you have to pay for it's a downloadable content from skiregionsimulator.com I strongly recommend this it cost me, I think, three dollars. I'm not positive on that one. But that's not that bad. It's really fun to drive. You can just zip around. Clear that snow. Works really nice. Okay, here, this is one of the main things in the game. Obviously. The groomers, or the piston bullies. I prefer to drive the 400. 
it's kind of like a nice happy medium but there's also the 100 for smaller operations and that's what you're given at the start of the game is just one piston bully 100 I have three piston bully 400s as you can see though I have enough money to get bots so you're gonna press V to lower the grooming attachment and it's gonna leave this slope nice and groomed um, or if you don't want to do that you can press the escape button on your keyboard and then you see that this is the amount of snow you might have to transport snow if there's not any in my case there's lots because it just snowed um, and this is how how do you say it? how groomed it is so you can go groom this yourself or if you just click it hire assistant do you want to hire an assistant to groom this slope for forty eight thousand nine hundred and forty two dollars snow trans transport zero and grooming forty eight thousand nine hundred forty two do you want to yeah sure I and then it's nice and groomed up so I'll just quickly do this all over it um... just takes a minute as you can see and in this little window you can check your settings you can set the time scale from real time all the way up to 240 times there's missions, mission frequency, I'll show you the missions in the next video of the series mission frequency you can go up you can go every two minutes every five minutes every ten minutes every twenty minutes or no missions I prefer no missions myself um, this, these are your statistics so my popularity is a hundred percent total guests yeah hotels these are all the hotels I own I'll show you how to purchase hotels in probably the video after the next one the next video will start from scratch and we'll just play it from there. This is more of a introduction video. Uh, these are all the stations or slopes that I own. You can buy and sell them. You can set your ticket price. And back to the slopes. Look at that. Oh yeah, there's skiers and made skiers, but they don't care much for my equipment running right over it. Um, I'm not sure what happened there. Salt spreader. X to unfold it and you're gonna if you wanna fill it which I'd recommend doing otherwise it doesn't really do anything. Um, here this is your little press I to access this. This is your PDA and zoom in and out of the map by pressing the 9 key and uh, those little sand pile looking things you're going to go there and that's this thing and you're going to take the payloader or skid steer or whatever and you're going to load the back you're going to load the salt spreader full of them there's also an attachable one that you can put on the back of your tractor and then once it's loaded fold it back up and you're going to press the B button. It's going to start spreading and as you can see, it cleans the road off really nice. Really nice. Um, not the fastest machine in the world. That's for sure. So you can press the P key, or this is the store. It's represented on the PDA with your with a shopping cart. Also throughout the game, got these bank machines. Press R. You can borrow. You can take loans. You can pay loans here. There's also help phones. I don't think that those are represented on the map. Now this is kind of cool, but pointless. 
E to activate it. It's gonna drop your pop. R to pick up and your drink. And I know you can't hear it, but there is sound in this thing. And you can hear you drinking it. So to access the store, you're gonna come to the shopping cart icon on the PDA and then to it in person. You're gonna press R. So these are kind of the vehicles in the game. Wheel loader, not payloader. I call it payloader, but... So all of them have maintenance cost, $110 a day. Now these two uh, are downloadable content packs. They don't come with the game. Extra three bucks. And there's another one. I'm going to get that probably for my next video, but I'm not sure. All these tools. Trailers. Not too many trailers. And you got a mod section. And to buy one, you just click the buy button. And then the sell button. And that's going to basically conclude this video. And I know it was not the best gameplay video. More, This was more of the overview part of the series. And the next video will be gameplay. And we'll start a new ski region. And we'll start from there and by the end of the series we should have the nine billion dollars that I have in this save game and a bunch of equipment so yeah see you next time gaming with awesome you can check out more at gamingwithawesome.tk